Now we're going to take a basic look at something called a Fisher projection. Basically what a Fisher projection does is make your drawing of stereo centers a little simpler, especially when there's more than one stereo center. And with uh, more complex things like sugars, you have a lot of stereo centers. So that's why we, uh, they came up with this thing called Fisher projection. Don't make that process a little easier. So, if you have a molecule, this one has two stereo centers, here and here. If you have a molecule like this, and you can orient in this form, and you pretty much have to orient it in this awkward form to do the Fisher projection. Um, if things that are kind of on the horizontal plane, those need to be wedges that is pointing towards you outside the screen. And then those in the vertical plane above and below, uh, those are going away from you, so I drew them as dashes, that is going into the screen. So, what a Fisher projection does, is it basically makes your picture look like this. <laughs> Where, here's the methyl at the bottom, and the top. Uh, you've got the H's on the right, and the VR's on the left. So you can see, if I draw it that way, how much simpler it is to draw. Uh, you just need to know that these are wedges. These are wedges uh, coming out at you. So things in the horizontal plane coming out at you. Things in the vertical plane, like these two, are going into the board, away from you. That's the only part, the main part that you need to remember. So now, if I draw a mirror image, it's super easy. And just, uh, I don't have to draw all those wedges and dashes and all that stuff. I can just draw this. Now, uh, when you draw this, what you can see, if I rotate, in this particular case, if I rotate this 180 degrees, uh, they pretty much look like the same thing. And that's true, they are. That's because this is what's called a meso compound. That's when you have uh, at least two stereo centers, and you have a plane of symmetry through the center. We have what's called a meso that is reflected upon, up upon itself. Uh, it looks the same, H and H, BR and BR, CH3 and CH3. Same for this one. In fact, these two are identical. That is, they're the same. There's no difference between them. Uh, you can draw what's called a diastereomer of this. I'll draw it over here. Uh, if I just flip, uh, invert one of the bonds, and I'll move in a second so you can see it. If you just randomly flip one of these, then to this original meso compound, these are called diastereomers. which is basically, it has the same connectivity, uh, but uh, one of the stereo centers is inverted, causing it to be slightly different spatially. So that's called a diastereomer of each other. Again, these two are identical, so they're the same. Uh, and you could draw the mirror image of this one if you wanted to. You could draw the mirror plane like that. And then you just reflect it through the mirror. So this BR matches this one, this H with this, this BR with that one, this one with this, that with that, that with that. These two, each, two to each other, you have to figure out what would you call these. Well, if you tried to rotate this 180 like this, flip it 180 so this side kind of twirls around like this, the CH3s would match, but if you flip this 180, this BR would be here and the H would be here. Flip this 180 to go down to the bottom, this H would be here and the BR would be here. So they don't match up. These are called enantiomers. Enantiomers. So this one to this one is a diastereomer. This one to this one is a diastereomer. This to this is identical, they're the same. And this to this is called an enantiomer. 
Okay, some people have asked me before, well, why don't I just take this and flip it like a pancake, just right over on end? Then it will look just like itself. The problem is, you need to remember, this H and BR are coming out towards you like this. And this H and BR are also coming out towards you. So if you flip it like a pancake, they're not going to line up. Because now, this looked like a pancake would be pointed into the board, where these two are pointed out of the board. So that's one thing to know about Fisher projections. You can never flip them like a pancake, but you can rotate them 180 degrees. So a rotation of 180, totally okay for a Fisher, but you can never flip them like a pancake, because that would cause the horizontal line not to be pointed out towards you. Okay? Um, so those are some basics. Uh, it's not always going to turn out that you have a meso compound. In fact, if we would have changed one of like the top or the bottom group of the methyl, made it something else like an ethyl, that would cause all four of these to be different. So you can, in this section, have an antimers if one of these groups are changed or one of the bromides are changed. Uh, that would cause something different.